Hello, welcome everyone. Today's webinar is about a way to measure volatile chemicals in food. I am Carmen Villatoro, senior consultant at Sensenet for eight years now, and I am hosting this webinar today. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Please drop your queries to the email addresses being shown and we will answer as soon as possible. So let's start. The food sector is in a continuous process of change and innovation, improving food towards new flavors with a special focus on healthy food. Odor is an important factor in food industry. In Sensenet, we evaluate the aroma characteristics of diverse product groups, including dairy products, fruit, vegetables, and beverage like tea, coffee, beer, wine, etc. The analysis of volatile organic compounds, VOCs, can aid in optimizing the sensory properties of products or in minimizing emissions that are potentially harmful to human health. Food odors are important to measure for food quality, analysis of, of a specific compounds or food fraud, and to classify, differentiate or authenticate a food. At Sensenet, we are experts in the measurement of OPS nodes. We analyze the typical composition and patterns of VOCs from diverse sources such as food. Of others in the food industry are a major concern. The chemical complexity of food and the numerous means of preparation and processing may introduce of others into foods. For example, cooking, heat treatment, exposure to light, air, storage temperatures, environmental contaminants, packaging materials, and time. Some questions in the food industry are How is aroma released from foods? Which odors of products are generated through processing or arise during storage? Which chemical compound is causing of odor? Where does the characteristic odor of a specific materials come from? The components that make up the aroma profiles of food are typically present over a wide concentration range, although some of the most active compounds are very often only present at trace levels. Gas chromatography coupled with time of fly mass spectrometry is an ideal choice for such analysis. Benchtop time of fly mass spectrometers offer low detection limits such unit mass resolution, full range spectra and fast acquisition speeds which allow trace components, including adulterants to be identified even within the most challenges of matrices. Detection using benchtop provides the sensitivity and data density needed to decomvolve the profiles of trace level compounds in complex profiles. We use thermal desorption for other characterization. By extracting organic vapors from a sample and concentrating them into a very small volume of carrier gas. Thermal desorption maximizes sensitivity for trace level target compounds, helps to minimize interferences, and routinely allows analyte detection at the part per billion level or below. It also greatly improves sample throughput by allowing full automation of sample preparation, desorption extraction correct concentration and DC injection. We characterize the emission of volatiles from your product by dynamic half space with the microchamber thermal extractor. Many raw or processed material do not meet the criteria of the food and we identify of others and develop methods for removing volatile contaminants. Within the food industry, 
there is an increasing need to monitor product safety and quality, typically in relation to flavor composition, stain and contamination. This requires a detailed understanding of individual components, but without an appropriate pe concentration step, the sensitivities of GC-based analysis can be insufficient to detect key trace level compounds. The microchamber thermal extractor is a valuable tool in this regard, allowing profiles to be sampled side by side under identical conditions. The sensitivity enhance enhancement of this dynamic head space technique is raised further by combining it with thermal desorption, making it a powerful technique when trace level aroma active compounds are under study. Sensenet's lab is equipped with a state-of-the-art technology for VOCs analysis. We work with a mass spectrometer time of flight, capable of quantifying at part per trillion PPT levels, and we have another detection port for the identification of the more relevant compounds and a thermal desorption unit. What about GC sniffing or olfaction technique? An extract containing the volatile fraction was screened for other active compounds. By using the GC sniffing technique, the volatiles are separated during gas chromatography. The eluding compounds were split at the end of the capillary and transferred to a detector and a sniffing pore, at which odorants were detected by sniffing. As soon as the assessor detects an odor, other intensity values from 1 to 5 and other character are assigned. The smelling task was performed by two sniffers, a room temperature and isolate of any distractions. During the analysis, each sniffer carried out the just sniffing task for 15 minutes before giving way to the other sniffing to cover the 48 minutes of the whole chromatographic process. In this way, the sniffing task is divided in three periods covering the entire chromatogram. Each sniffing covers all chromatographing runs twice. Therefore, four sample injection were necessary to analyze each sample. Next, I would like to tell you about Functionalities and applications in food sector. One of them is aroma profiling of food and drink. To identify the box that provide their products with desirable and or undesirable characters, enable them to maintain and improve product quality. Improving understanding of chef life. A key aspect is how the aroma profile varies over time and whether this has an impact on consumer perception or can be used to flag spoilage. The development of better methods to detect and analyze the box release from relevant food types to identify biomarkers for quality and microbial contamination. Understanding the detail of volatile profiles. Although the aroma of fruit is often determined by the presence of high abundance esters, some fruits such as strawberries owe their distinctive aromas to much lower abundance compounds. Understanding these differences is vital when characterizing different cultivars. Comprehensive aroma profiling of fresh fruit. In the ready-to-eat food industry, Shed life is estimated mainly by judging the appearance of the product, an approach that is limited because appearance does not necessarily indicate deficiencies in aroma profile, nutrient content, or the presence of microorganisms. The evolution of VOCs during shed life is important to detect overripening or changes in odor. Checking the quality of raw food stops. Herbs are widely used in many food products, but substantial differences in aroma can result from differences in growing conditions 
or preparation in the plant material. Quick patch comparison is therefore very useful for those in the food industry. Detecting trace aroma compounds in complex profiles. A detailed understanding of individual components, but a standard GCMS analysis of foods can yield complex chromatograms in which trace level compounds are hard to detect. As an example, pedazines with their roasted earthy to potato like aroma and low odor threshold were a target group in this analysis of potato crisps. Identifying hidden aroma compounds. A range of VOCs are responsible for the wide variation of cheese aroma. Many of these are present at trace level and have low odor threshold relative to more abundant components such as fatty acids, making the identification of key aroma components a considerable challenge. In this example, a minor peak in sample headspace was found to comprise four coelution compounds. Enhancing olfactory profiling of food samples. Detection and identification of key components with low odor threshold and compounds responsible for off odors is a challenging prospect. A variety of predominantly VOCs define the characteristic aroma of drinks, such as fruit juice or wine. Understanding the VOC profiles of, the, of a beverage and using this information to enhance or eradicate contributory components can increase the appeal of the product. Identification of trace level VOC in food stats using TDGC TOF MS. For safety and quality control purposes, there is growing demand within food industry to detect and identify specific VOCs. For example, aloanisols with their musty like aroma and low odor threshold responsible for off nodes in wine. Identification of off odors in food stats. Of odors are teens in food products caused by the presence of undesirable compounds or an imbalance of aroma compounds. They can originate in raw materials, from chemical changes during food processes and storage, and for microorganisms. Of odors have a recurring issue in many food products. In case your product is impacted by an off odor, we will identify its chemical nature. The off odor can then be tracked back to a specific production step, ingredient, or additional material. Here are, are some case studies that I have found interesting. The first case study is about monitoring of free quality. The volatile compounds allow us to perform a statistical analysis of the aromatic profile of the samples. The six cultivars are grouped according to the ripening time. Ethyl octanoate and linalol are major differentiators between the cultivars. Volatiles from different varieties of strawberries. We identify by GCTOF-MS the most relevant odorants in different strawberry cultivars, and this allows us to compare the aromatic profile. Easters ha has been identified as providing fruity notes, aldehydes as providing green and fresh notes, currants as providing caramel notes, and some alcohols as providing floral notes. Monitoring wine VOCs. The objective of this project is to use a membrane technology to control the rate of oxygen entering the wine bottles. The main odorants identified in the wine samples show differences in some of the molecules. As a conclusion, molecular analysis provides useful information to determine the presence of, of notes of flavor from the food industry, to identify the key odorants of the product, 
to optimize the effective value of my product. How to reduce cost of products without a lot of sensory quality. Determination of other fingerprints comparative in products. We come to the end of this webinar. I thank you for your time and attention. I hope you found it interesting. Please, for any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or directly with our offices. Please send any question you may have and we will respond promptly. Thank you very much for your participation.